of residents at Oyarifa Green Hill, a community within the La Inquantanan municipality, have been trapped in their homes more than 72 hours after heavy rains flooded the entire area. According to the affected residents, buildings and waterways and the absence of drains in the area have made it impossible for floodwaters to recede even days after it rains. They want authorities to order the demolition of the structures in the waterways to make room for drains. Manuel Kranting reports. In three days, we'll be on to me. It's been three days and no one has gone out. Some residents at Oyarifa Green Hills within the La Nkwantana Municipal Assembly expressing their frustration as floodwaters trapped them in their homes. It's been at least 72 hours after a three-hour downpour submerged all the houses in the area. But uncharacteristic of many flooding incidents recorded in other parts of the country, the artificial pond created still stands at knee level because the water would just not recede owing to the unavailability of gutters here. All the houses here have been flooded. People have to walk through the water. We almost had a casualty last night. Everybody is affected with no one to help us. But it's destroyed all our properties. All my fowls are dead. This is supposed to be a main road and also giving a pass a passageway by for the rain the rain gutter so that they can get some space for the rain to pass by. But I don't know for some reason there was some blo blockade on the road. Someone has to come and build on the road. The community, which has more than 500 homes, has literally been shut down. Nobody goes out and nobody comes in. Due to this, my sister cannot come back from work. Oh yeah, she went to work for almost three days now. She has not been in the house. And I'm, I'm the only one in the house for now. Meanwhile, I'm here with my father, my siblings and other people. Imagine if I were not to be a little bit older, how would I be able to fend for myself in this big house? The water cannot recede. It descends from the other parts to this place and gathers here. While the residents continue to count their losses from the invasion of their homes by the flood, they want authorities to order the demolition of all buildings sited on the waterways. We went to Nadmo and they said we should go to the assembly, but no results still. We want the president and the regional minister to help clear all the houses on the road so we can construct the gutters. It is unclear whether or not the owners of the buildings in waterways had permits to erect them there. But for the residents, they dread another downpour, which could potentially cost them more than just their properties, their very lives. Manuel Kranting, Toy News.